right, full grocery store tour here from our neighborhood right in the city center of Hong Kong. And first things first, I love the name because it's called Welcome, but it's intentionally misspelled. So it's like, welcome to our store, but it's also like, well, come in already. What are you waiting for? And uh, it's kind of a good name. Now you'll notice it's underground and you'll notice it's a little bit smaller than the supermarkets we typically feature on our channel, but it does have everything available and it's a few minutes from our accommodation. So this is the one we've been using uh, every day. Okay, let's check it out. So the first thing we notice in the fruit and veggie section is the prices are actually not that bad. Obviously, Hong Kong has a reputation for being very expensive, uh, but we found the fruit and veggies to be somewhat affordable especially if you look for deals because typically they do this sort of for two pack or for two veggies or sometimes they'll even do buy two get one free so you have to pay attention to what's on sale that given week or that given day because uh everything seems to be an option of buy two get one or something like that yes and they've even got some lotus root roots. which i've never seen before i guess lotus is a flower obviously but i guess the root is edible Yes. And so that's a Thanks. pack of lotus root for 20 Hong Kong bamboo. dollars, as well as bamboo shoot. You Ooh, bamboo. which is, feels slimy inside. It's in some kind of liquid. Actually, looks kind of yummy. It does, huh? That's so funny because five years ago when I started traveling, this looks so bad to me. <laughs> but now it looks yummy. <laughs> Taste buds can change. Oh, look at that. I sort of thought this was like a big cucumber or something. <laughs> but if you look closely, there's hair it's on it. Hairy. Hairy veg. Hairy veg. Uh, it was 18 for two and now it's down to six bucks. Quick sale. Maybe because there's hair growing on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so in terms of the meat section, it's relatively small, as you can see. But like I said earlier, you've got to pick your deals because this right here is 67 Hong Kong dollars, which is like almost 10 American. Whereas this guy here is on sale right now and looks good, right? Some thin cut pork for 15, uh, which is quite a good deal actually. Yeah, yeah. So you really got to pay attention in Hong Kong to what's on sale that week because uh, the prices vary. And I guess they're selling Australian beef is their go-to. This is gonna run you 26 per 100 grams, which is not so bad, but look, you can get something 50% off. Wonder if the meat is going bad or it's near the expiry date. That's why it goes 50% off. I think it's near. Near expiry, which doesn't matter. If you're gonna buy it and eat it today, probably okay. So 50% off, can't go wrong. Yeah, today is what, 27? Yeah. This will expire tomorrow. This expires tomorrow. So if you're gonna buy it and eat it today, you're set. Yeah. Now. Can you drink the tap water in Hong Kong? We've got some conflicting reports. It seems like you can drink tap water. But then again, if the building you're li living in has older pipes, they recommend don't drink it. Yeah. So we've been playing it safe and buying water jugs. Uh, and in classic Hong Kong fashion, it's a deal if you get two. So usually it's about 20 for one. I guess this one's a bit more. So about 20 Hong Kong dollars for a big jug is the average price. And similar to Shanghai, the bread section, very small, and they tend to do these little loaves. I would call that like a half a loaf of bread, you know, mm -hmm. compared to Canadian sizes, but uh, that's how they do it. And we usually show the cheapest loaf of bread. Oh, look at that. They have crustless bread, <laughs> sandwich bread with the crust already taken off. <laughs> Not bad for, for $1.50. And I guess the average price is about, uh, yeah, 13 to 15 Hong Kong dollars, half loaf. And actually, this is a pretty typical aisle width from the different grocery stores we've seen. Very Hong Kong style. It's kind of tightly packed and very vertical because they're always fighting for space in Hong Kong. Oh, look at this. Grapes. Jelly or something. Grapes in a little jelly for Looks 10 good. Hong Kong dollars. I guess they're skinless grapes. Yeah. Okay, something new. <laughs> <laughs> There's a red bean dessert with tangerine peel. I can't even imagine what that might taste like. <laughs> 25 Hong Kong dollars, but buy one, get one. Might be good if you like red bean. Red bean and tangerine peel, yeah, might be good. <laughs> now in terms of the sauces, 
uh, as you can expect, a lot of soy sauce and Chinese sauces, which are, yeah, soy sauce, seafood soy sauce, uh, various types of soy sauce and oyster sauce, as you can imagine. But they do have ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise just on a smaller section here. Uh, small mustard for 25 Hong Kong dollars. Kind of expensive, although you can get a ketchup for 13, not bad. And a lot more mayonnaise than mustard. I mean, really just the two bottles here. And mayonnaise will run you pretty expensive, no? Like 30 bucks or 28 bucks for a mayonnaise. 36 for Miyoko Whip. And as it turns out, Ivana and I have been sort of losing weight here in Hong Kong because the price of chips will blow your mind. So we can't afford it. Uh, $56 for two name brand uh, kettle chips, which are yummy flavor on Dijon, but the price is a lot. Even for a Lay's, which has a truffle flavor, sort of unique, $45 dollars for two it's a lot for chips um we sometimes will treat ourselves to the non-name brand but even then you got to buy so much 40 dollars for five bags of chips <laughs> who wants five bags of chips <laughs> i guess you could do a 13 for two but these are the uh like no name i guess they're called meadows but they're not the lays or the kettle brand or the doritos you know even pringles 46 bucks for two cans it's a lot you're right it's expensive for chips maybe imported or something i don't know but uh <laughs> it's a lot for chips and similar to chips oil is a lot so this is olive oil relatively cheap brand 65 dollars for 500 mils it's a lot i think yeah. maybe you can find a cheaper one down at the bottom not really that's like the cheaper one there yeah these are peanut oil corn oils yeah expensive. it's a lot Maybe this is a better deal. You gotta get out your calculator and do the math. It's 171 for one liter, but you can buy the second at half price. Yeah. So now you're in for like 240 or something Four. for two liters. That might be the better deal. But yeah. still, you gotta you gotta uh, buy a lot and you gotta figure out all, all your. Yes, yes. I if think. You get a deal here. It's not that bad. Yeah. But if there is no deal, it's quite expensive. If you ever seen the show Extreme Couponing? But they yes. do. I think if you're an extreme couponer in Hong Kong, you'll save a million dollars a year. Is there coupons here? I don't know, but <laughs> if you can go to the right store on the right day of the week, you can save a bundle. Right, right. And not to mention coffee prices. Uh, we've been buying Italian gourmet. This is the cheapest one we could find for the per gram price. 130 bucks for 500 grams of ground coffee. We've been limiting ourselves to one coffee per day. Yes. I can go for two, three cups sometimes, you know, and have my third one at 1 p.m. and work all morning, you know, do editing and drink coffee all morning. Uh, not in Hong Kong. No. We've been cutting down. We've been cutting down. And coffee. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and one thing about people from Hong Kong is they're very patient and very uh, considerate of the space because this aisle width and this kind of stuff everywhere is pretty typical in our experience. And obviously, we came now when the aisles are empty, there's no other customers. Yeah. But when it's busy, there's people all around, everyone's got baskets and you gotta kinda wait behind that thing and take your turn. <laughs> and for me, I get very frustrated. But people from Hong Kong seem to be okay with it mm -hmm. and they're patient and take their time. So uh, it's a different style of living, you know? And look at that, Ivana's pride and joy. Ivana's, <laughs> Ivana's favorite food in the well, not instant favorite, noodle category. Yes, in the instant noodle. Uh, $22, I think it means for two packs. So $22 for like 10 Indomies is a great price. It's quite affordable. You can find good deals in Hong Kong. You just got to keep your eyes peeled. Yeah. Oh. Satay. Satay. Noodles. Is that Indonesian satay? I don't think so. I think it's a different word, but it's spelled the same as Indonesian satay. Yeah. Satay beef noodle looks yummy. And <laughs> look at that. Some lobster bisque right there. 15 bucks for two. <laughs> Cup of noodles, lobster bisque. I've never seen that before. <laughs> And of course, rice prices, which seem to be stable food, although a lot of noodles here. Rice noodle more Lots than rice. Uh, but it's about 60 for the cheaper one for a five kilo bag of rice, although there are more expensive ones, 100 and even 200. I just found a Canadian. Oh, look at that. Product. Canadian grain fed beef short ribs. Hey, Canadian on the packaging. Now the brand is Meadows. I think it's a Hong Kong brand. Because they have a lot of Meadows over here. Uh, but there's a Canadian 
grain fed beef rib for 90 bucks. Not bad. So our Canadian dollar has been pretty good to us as we travel the world. Most countries are kind of affordable, but I think Hong Kong is one that's uh, more than what it costs at home. I was trying to be positive at the beginning in the fruit and veggie section. Say, ah, oh, you can afford it. It's pretty good. But uh, it's pretty expensive. I mean, even like simple hot dogs. These are the chicken, chicken franks. It's 30 Hong Kong dollars. Seems like a lot, no? It's Seems like a lot, right? But the thing is, if you're working here and living here, maybe you earn Hong Kong dollars and maybe it's affordable. I don't know if the cost of living is high, but it's one of the only countries where, for us, uh, it's adding up quickly. We're both losing weight because we don't eat much. <laughs> We're on a diet in Hong Kong. We're on a permanent diet for the whole trip. <laughs> Although, one thing that's not expensive at all, which is a good news for me, is the beer prices. So, if you guys can imagine, uh, a dollar for a big can of beer like this is a pretty good price. I think it's a really good price actually and to be clear you have to buy a lot of beer to get that price so like Tsing Tao this is a Chinese brand uh, you can get three packs of four so 12 big ones for 60 bucks which is actually less than an American dollar per beer quite affordable I mean for a country this developed yeah. it's unbelievable the sometimes, beer prices sometimes the beer is cheaper than water sometimes the beer is cheaper than water this is the kind of beer price you only get usually in like an undeveloped country where everything's cheap uh, I, I believe there's no import tax on alcohol, so it becomes very affordable. I think that's the idea. But for me, it's uh, it's good. It's a good sign. <laughs> and then for eggs, they do it by ten rather than by twelve, like we do in Canada. I guess the cheapest one is twenty-two bucks for ten eggs. Although there are definitely more expensive ones. But that's not the worst price ever. That's kind of manageable. Although cheese prices are a bit out of whack. This is the Kraft Singles. You know, this is like cheese that doesn't even have dairy in it. It's like some kind of non, yeah. non-cheese cheese. Don't get me wrong; it's delicious and I eat it all the time. But it's not cheese. Uh, it's forty bucks for one of those. Thirty-seven. That be the price of real cheese, you know. Yeah, it's a lot for cheese. We've been we've been uh, laying off on the grilled cheeses because it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and in terms of Coca-Cola and Pepsi, it's hard to know if it's a good deal or not because they don't sell one can. So you got to figure it out. It's uh. Fifty-seven dollars for two eight packs, so it's like ten Canadian or eight American for sixteen. I think it's actually quite affordable. Soda, this seems like. Oh, they do have single bottles here. Okay, good, good, good. So ten bucks for a uh, one point two five liter. Not the worst price ever. Kind of fair pricing. Yeah. And Pepsi is slightly more expensive, as it should be, because it's worse. So Coke is uh, fair, fair pricing. Wow, check it out. Now I've seen everything. <laughs> This is a Snoop Dogg white wine. <laughs> okay, something new. 150 bucks for two bottles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> chocolate, which this is actually good chocolate. This is 100% infinite dark. Oh, what do you say? Dark chocolate or? I would go for 70% dark. Wow, you've got your ratio. This is what you want. Okay, so Ivana's fave, uh, 36 bucks, which is like seven American. No, no, it's more like four American. Four American. Four to five American dollars. It's not the worst, but it's, it is what it is. And they've got a whole rack here of fish related or seafood related snacks, like dried stuff. <laughs> uh, I think this is actually Malaysian. This is like some octopus or squid stuff. This one might just be sliced beef. Oh, this is beef jerky. This is probably good. 40 bucks. Not bad. But a lot of them are, uh, oh gosh. <laughs> little stingray, no? I think that's a... Uh... Baby squid. Baby squid for 40 bucks. Oof. Wow, check this out. This is a mystery. This whole section here has a bunch of nuts and dried fish and stuff, but they got the Indonesian words here right yeah. kacang champaran mix kacang yeah champaran padas snack badam and ikan i don't know why it's written in malay or indonesian <laughs> very funny right maybe for tourists i don't know are there a lot of indonesian tourists in hong kong i think so yeah i think so so they wrote it in indonesian also yeah That's something new and last but not least we usually try to show the price of a medium-sized bottle of head and shoulders although i guess they're not selling head and shoulders seems like this kind of bottle size 
and this price is about average 60 bucks for uh, 680 mils which actually is kind of similar to Canada I think uh, right so in conclusion Hong Kong is a great place to lose weight <laughs> because you find yourself really asking yourself do I really need this because it's quite expensive which is probably a good habit to be in anyway and our strategy has been to buy stuff every day and cook it that night because you'll save a lot of money by buying the stuff that's uh, marked down because it's going bad and so thanks for watching everybody it's a quick tour because it's a small shop but it is one of the bigger ones we've seen here in the city center because uh everything is kind of jam-packed and in tight here in the city center so thanks for watching everybody later